For Comedy Hive News, I'm John Opp. Mike Epps has been finding himself in the headlines lately after he was stopped by the All The Smoke podcast hosted by ex-NBA stars Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. The honest and at times emotional interview would have a series of highlights of moments from Epps, from him admitting that he was on coke during some of his earlier roles, his hopes in being a better man to women, and even shared why he felt his chances of being Richard Pryor in a biopic never came to be. Now, if you can recall, for several years, Epps was the lead choice to star as Richard Pryor in theaters in a film about the legendary comedian's life. But like few before him, things would hit a wall and audiences haven't heard much in recent times. While speaking with all the smoke, according to Epps, he would suggest that the real reason things didn't work out for him was mainly due to him not wanting to be intimate behind the scenes with Pryor's widow, Jennifer Lee Pryor. I didn't screw his ex-wife and she got mad. I was gonna play Richard Pryor, man, and then I didn't screw his wife, his ex-wife, and she got mad. You didn't spank this ass. You're not gonna play Richard. Epps would further explain why at the time he was a great choice to play Pryor, mainly because of his cultural relevancy. Now it appears that Pryor's widow, Jennifer Lee, is not happy about Epps' comments and for some jokes about an alleged casting couch incident. On Friday, while speaking to the Daily Beast, Jennifer would deny Epps' claims and even go as far as calling him ghetto. That's just low rent. You're just ghetto, Mike. Last year, Jennifer would exclusively tell Comedy Hype that Epps was no longer being considered for the role because he simply aged out. She would reveal this while explaining her then-criticism of Epps' appearance on HBO's Winning Time as prior, where she labeled it a bad imitation. As of now, it is unclear if Epps and Lee Pryor have spoken behind the scenes about their public feud, but it appears they both may still have some unresolved feelings as to why fans never got to see a Richard Pryor biopic. Let's talk about it more in the comments below. And how do you feel about Jennifer calling my ghetto, which in fairness to hear a white person call a black person ghetto can be seen as racist for some. Now, back in 2016 at the Golden Globes, Quentin Tarantino would come under fire for his use of the word while accepting an award. He would instantly be met with criticism from Jamie Foxx and viewers online. So Jennifer Lee Pryor's choice of words will probably now add another layer to her back and forth with Epps in the press. For more news and comedy, be sure to subscribe here to our YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype across all social media. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Apple.